Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab a beverage of your choice. Because today, we're going to be doing an unboxing. I did not expect to be getting this today. I ordered this, and if this is what I think it is, uh, it wasn't supposed to be here for another couple of weeks. But we shall see. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yep, all right. Okay. It is. Now, I've got these. Here is my little uh it's got the little receipt thing inside here we want my in stock trades uh, receipt they have it all nice and bagged up yeah i was this you can get quick uh, let's, get the, let's get the covers off Boom, boom, and then here is the, the second one. Alrighty then. These were all nice and uh, cheap, but I wanted to, uh, I don't know, it cost like $27 for all, three, all four of these. Alright, first off, I have... Uh, Brubaker, uh, Ed Brubaker's Velvet, Before the Living End, this is book one, turns out they're soft back, but that's okay, and then Velvet, book two, The Secret Lives of Dead Men, and Velvet, number three. The Man Who Stole the World, who is, is the name of a uh, David Bowie song, which Nirvana covered. I think Nirvana might be a little bit more well-known for that, but it was a David Bowie song. And then a book which I really, really am going to, looking forward to seeing right now, reading. Uh, I saw it, and I had to get it. It's just a... It's a thin book. It's called The Pro. Excuse me, it's by Garth Ennis. <laughs> uh, Brian K. Vaughan said, This is the watchman of comics about unprotected, unprotected sex with horrors. I guess the pro is a prostitute who is a superhero. And so you can see how thin it is. I'm going to actually, I saw that. I was just like, dude, I've got to, uh, I've got to get that. And this, uh, this is going to be uh, read first. I cannot wait to read it. I will be doing a review of that probably a little later cause today because it doesn't look like it's going to take that long to read. But uh, then I I love my Ed Brubaker. And uh, this is one of the few things of his that I don't have that's outside of the, the uh, 
Captain America and Daredevil, even though I do have a couple of the uh, trades of the Captain America thing. But I have just, this almost completes my collection of, of his other stuff. But I uh, just thought I'd uh, share this with you. And I will be doing a review on this a little later tonight. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these and what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, most of all. Enjoy the hell out of your comics.